Hey, it's David Andrew Weep. Today I wanted to talk about an entrepreneur that claims to work 18 hours per day. The math really doesn't add up here, so let's start there. He claims to sleep 7 hours per night. So 24 minus 7 is... The most you'd actually be able to sleep if you're working 18 hour days is 6 hours. And even then, taking into account going to the bathroom, showering, maybe going to the gym and meditating, general self-care stuff, you can't actually work 18 hours a day if you're sleeping seven hours a night. And then he claims that he still spends time with his wife, he goes to the gym first thing in the morning, and he meditates. So he's actually doing all that self-care stuff I just talked about. So what that tells us is this, he's not working 18 hours a day. And I don't really want to name names, I don't want to call anybody out, but there is a point to this conversation. I think a big factor here is that he's equating work with self-care and other types of activities. And I've been in that mindset as an entrepreneur as well. I've often thought that like, look, you know, meditating is crucial, that's actually kind of part of my work schedule. Working out, really great idea to stay fit and get exercise. and get some energy from somewhere and if you want to get that you gotta work out you gotta go and exercise and then I might have some other activity like reading or listening to podcasts that I would really consider vital to my schedule and my routine but if we're honest with ourselves we can kind of look at it and say those are not work like that, that should not be counted as work hours same thing goes for spending time with your wife. Just because you've managed to schedule it into your schedule with meals and showers and all the other self-care stuff that you're doing, probably what most would consider a fairly difficult schedule to master doesn't actually mean that you're working 18 hours a day. The math doesn't even add up. So my point is, we gotta make sure that we're questioning everything. There's things that go in through our ears and we hear it and our brain processes it immediately. Conscious mind works much faster than our conscious mind does to assimilate information. And so it's really important to look at what people are saying because we might try to model their schedule or their routine or their workload thinking that we're gonna be just as effective or thinking that somehow their model, living out their strategy or their routine or their plan for life is going to work for us. Second of all, sometimes it's just a blatant lie that they're not hearing for themselves.